Okay, hopefully you have tickets for tonight because we're starting it. Here we go, Rocktober Vlog 2020. Let's do it, Spinners and Sharks. I'm so excited. It's the Ace of Vegas, the Ace of Vegas. Hey there, Spinners and Sharks. Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And here is my full Las Vegas 2020 trip report. So this Las Vegas vlog is going to feature Rocktober 2020. What is Rocktober, you might ask? Well, it's a little get-together that our friends over at Vegas Best Ideas have put together for Vegas fans of all backgrounds and nations, with or without vlogs of their own, of course. So, in addition to the usual report on how much money we saved this trip, and how I saved it, enjoy a few extra crossovers and bonus interactions. Hey there, Sminners and Sharks, Ace of Vegas here, and I hope you're doing well. And right now, I am here in sunny Denver, Colorado, where it is 40 degrees out and very, very cold. That's 40 Fahrenheit for our overseas viewers. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and do the calculation. I'll put the calculation to uh, Celsius down there um, on the video. But we are getting ready to head to the win and the Planet Hollywood for Rocktober. So let's get this started. So the first step of any Vegas trip is, of course, the flight. My flight from Denver to Las Vegas ran me about $98 round trip. That's about $40 less each way than Southwest normally offers. The best part about this is that it included two free checked bags, so those of you with extra camera equipment might benefit from this provision. We found hotel rooms in two different places. A short lift ride took us for our first destination. Our first is the very last of our free room credits over at the Wynn Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas. For the very low sum of 3,000 gems, we were able to secure a weekend room rate. The rough equivalent is about 10 gems to a dollar when it comes down to room rates at the Wynn meaning we saved over $300, not including taxes and resort fees, of course. We also got an upgrade to a panoramic room again, which are typically another $50 a night at least. Combined with that $45 resort fee and the taxes on it, we're looking at roughly a $400 savings right off the bat. Pretty impressive, if you ask me. <laughs> hey there, Spendish yeah. and Sharks. Ace of Vegas here. Hope you're doing well. Dinner was also a good time a ways down the strip, heading down to New York, New York. There, we met up with fellow travel vlogger Danica of Danica Rutland for dinner at Nine Fine Irishman. Normally, we'd use 15,000 loyalty points to get the reward for a $35 credit at New York, New York. But the lines of the MLive desk were incredibly long, and the Uber wait times were just killer. So we saved it for next time. It's typically a pretty inexpensive spot even with several meals and drinks on a ticket, so it wasn't any trouble just to pay for it and get the tier points with them life. The Let's go, Spinners and Sharks! Come on! Push the button! Alright, unlock the disc! Let's go! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Okay, that's a nine, that's a nine, that's our point. It's a nine. From there, we made an attack on Park MGM. We tried out the bubble craps on livestream. Shout out to PJ from PJ Slots and Entertainment for carrying the team on his back. Thanks to him, we were able to save at least 75% of our initial stake. Sadly, after all was said and done though, we lost $20 to the gambling gods. Alexa, turn off the lights. Okay. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it. We are live in the pool officially now. That is awesome. The next morning, we decided to relax a bit at the pool. Drinks were pricey, and so was the food, so breakfast ate through a lot of our savings on the actual hotel room. But the pool area is beautiful, and luckily socially distant, making life a lot more comfortable in these very challenging times. $60 well spent, if you ask me. Taking a trip down the strip, we arrived at Planet Hollywood. All right, Spinners and Sharks, here we are. We're at the Seven Stars and Diamond VIP guests only, and we are indeed Diamond level guests, so we're going to go ahead and chill over here while these nice folks over here take care of us. So let's see what we got going on. I status matched my Wyndham rewards over to Caesar's Diamond. Between that and my M-Life Gold, Caesar's Rewards was very happy to offer me a two-night comp that would normally run me $99 a night on a weekend. In addition, they also waived the $42 resort fee, but Planet Hollywood wasn't done yet. They also offered me a free upgrade to an Ultra Resort Vista Room, normally a $60 a night value. So when all was said and done, a single free status match saved me a whopping $402, and frankly the room wasn't half bad either. Though it it wasn't quite as comfortable as the Wynn Resort Room, 
it was pretty darn good for half the price per night. Another neat little deal from Caesars is their annual diamond rewards dinner. That's basically a $100 credit to be used at almost any Caesars property. This time we picked Monome Gabi, mainly because it's a good brunch spot, and therefore also a good dinner spot. It also has a fun French vibe and some pretty good food too. I planned on using the credit there, but I learned that Monami Gabi is not a celebration dinner restaurant, and I went through all the trouble of giving the reservation and everything anyway. Oh well, lesson learned. Dinner was very nice and a good time was had by all regardless. How random everything is. That's the best part about Vegas. This is just so ra and there goes Superman. Okay, <laughs> there's a Superman on a freaking like hoverboard. From then on, it was time to make our way down the strip once again, back to the win, to hang out with our friends Pennies for Vegas and of course JR from Vegas Tips and Tricks. There began a very delicate cultural exchange. Pennies brought Caesars down from Canada, and in return I requested the strongest brass monkeys that the Mirage could offer. We used up our two-for-one drink coupons at both bars of the Mirage, saving us a total of $24 on drinks. The party didn't end there though. Pennies led the charge to get a fresh glass of 9 cent Texas tea next door at Phil Ruff and his trash Island, or Treasure Island for the uninitiated. While Pennies stayed afloat long enough to empty TI's supply of Budweiser's, I decided to see what their Mexican beer stores were like, and was greeted by another surprise. We got some fucking ducks, man! I shouldn't have said the F word, I apologize. Ducks in a row paid out, and I won a solid $37 to make up for my losses at Park MGM. Huh, an empty Vegas pool. Now that's a rare sight right now. Let's go investigate why. If it's open yet. Oh, that's a disappointment. Huh. So we're we gonna have breakfast by the pool. The next morning's plan was a simple one: hang out at the Planet Hollywood pool. I was dressed for the occasion and made my way down, only to find out that it was closed for the season. So instead, I had a hangover breakfast down at Earl of Sandwich on the advice of Hog from Hog and Two Cent. A well spent $14. Another walk down the strip took me and my group down to Denny's Las Vegas. Yeah, I said Denny's, we were in a bit of a brunch mood and Hash House A Go Go was packed to the gills. Their breakfast, so just looking at everything, you actually get starters here. Surprisingly, they were actually pretty good, and the fact that they offered alcohol certainly didn't hurt the restaurant's rating either. The food itself is about the same as your average Denny's, so I probably wouldn't make a special trip for it, but it was a much shorter wait and it was nice to make a meal decision without worrying about a reservation. Shoutouts to my boy Muscle Tech for treating. Okay, so Cinnamon's a little late right now. She didn't get into her room until 5 and it's already just at that time for uh, October, but we did get this from the, uh, from the desk here. Check this out free admission right there so we got two free tickets to the link high roller just for being a diamond member at caesar's rewards this is how you rock the comps guys and this is how you rock the tober so we'll go ahead and go catch up with sin and then we're gonna get down to the link and then from that night on was the full rocktober party and my last chance to take advantage of a special extra comp that my Caesars Diamond card offered. This one was for the High Roller. My Diamond Access offered me two free anytime tickets to the Link High Roller observation wheel, saving me a solid $78. And because I was a Diamond member, it enabled me to skip the line. Definitely worth the work in getting the status match done. Rocktober festivities were in full swing and the night had just begun. There were shenanigans to be had not only at the High Roller, but also down at Stage Door Las Vegas. We continued down through Ellis Island to enjoy the front yard. Sadly, karaoke wasn't open due to the you-know-what, but that didn't stop everyone from drinking and carrying on regardless. And finally, the night ended quietly and comfortably at Henry's Las Vegas in the Cosmo Hotel and Casino. If I've learned anything from this experience, it's this. Jump on those comps now, even without taking advantage of what my Vegas had, as I only ended up using two comps from them the whole trip. There's still plenty to do in Vegas and a lot of different ways to save. 
In fact, when I was there, all said and done, I added up my meals, I'd only spent about $500 on a weekend. That's roughly a third of what it would have cost me without my My Vegas, Win Slots, and Caesars Diamond status. In fact, I saved so much on this trip that I was able to turn right back around and come straight back out for Vegas for a whole nother week. And if you want to see that story, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Also, if you enjoyed the strip report or found it informative, I'd appreciate a like on the way out as well. So until next trip report, Spinners and Sharks, this is Ace of Vegas signing out, and I'm wishing you strong hands, and of course, happy spinning, you guys. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas. Viva Ace of Vegas.